basically, they really want me to capture motion. So I want a hero image for one, which is like an open spread magazine cover of like the building and maybe a car going by to get some motion. Two is maybe some welding photos of like some guys, you know, with, with metal, adding sparks, having like an element of surprise in the magazine. And then um, a lot of them will be driving through the forest and like kind of more so parked with maybe some backlighting of sun. I don't know exactly what I have planned, but I did bring like a super wide angle 20 mil. So I'm gonna definitely take advantage of like a lot of lot of empty space. Lucas for the magazine definitely likes wide wide shots to be able to crop in so I gotta think like that today in terms of where the images or where the subjects are placed um, to fit the magazine spread. Yeah the company is North 44, super rad company and you'll be able to see them uh, very shortly soon when we arrive after this long drive. I'm just gonna roll it up and I'll have just the front end in the photo with this all in the background. And I'll move my Subaru and we'll get some shots going. Lentils and tuna for now. It's prison food, baby. I gotta eat before I shoot. George, can I serve you your food? Yes, I want you to pour it for me as well. Uh. <laughs> uh, shoot up on the hill, motion shots, individual detail shots. Um, that's in my head, but typically we just run off whatever works. Um, it'd be nice to get that shot first, but I think we're gonna go dust shots and forest first. Three of them on this little hill and have the winding road behind them. I think that's gonna be a cool shot to split up the dirt piles and then place them in different sections. Game plan. Good. Reverse, turn your wheel that way and just snug it in a little. baby. I need one rotary right there. And then we're, we're out of here. Um, so we're gonna line up the shot here. Just behind the... We're gonna keep the black car in the sun to keep the most detail in it. And then we're gonna frame it around these trees. One's gonna be parked here. One's gonna be parked here. Another one's gonna be parked on this vertical angle. And then we're gonna come down there and it's gonna Hopefully the sun comes back through and it hits all of them at the same time and then that will create enough detail in the black and the green paint to come through in the photo. So it's not that much photoshopping or, or Lightroom editing. So for everyone watching, polarizers are really expensive, like 100 plus dollars for glass. Um, simplest thing to do is actually to add, um, it's called, a step ring so the step ring goes from a 67 millimeter to a 77 
So if you get one polarizer that's a 77, you have multiple lenses, you can share them all by using the step ring. And what this does is actually cut the glare of the car. So if you start noticing, start noticing it, I'll start changing it. And you can tell by the windshield wipe or the windshield and the glass that it'll get rid of the shadows or pull the shadows back in.